Hello all, Sirius Lee's here, back with some more Alpha 2 Omega, and we're up on the freighter, ready to hop in the ship. I can't do anything I want to do, well, the only thing I really want to do this week was uh, buy some frigates, and I can't do that, because every time I hop in the ship, I get hailed by Apollo. So let's get this going. Let's get Apollo out of the way. A leap in the dark, answer the communicator by getting in the ship, and uh, burp, 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 burp. let's get out into space and answer this thing. Uh, what I have been doing, as we stopped off last time, we had a minor detour last time, and it was sort of a major detour. Uh, before we answer this thing, just just to spite him because he's been bugging me all week, <laughs> we're going to go over some of the results of that. Uh, if you notice here, look at all of this stuff I've been getting. Some of these have been from frigate missions. I was incorrect. I hadn't gotten any of these from frigate missions. All of these are from space stations, space stations, space stations for free because I did get my reputation or standing up to exalted in each of those and I'll show that off a bit as we go but let's, let's finally answer this guy so he stops bothering us hey Apollo mm -hmm. nope didn't get nothing I went and did stuff on space stations instead yeah and communication see you on the other side y you go in that portal have fun or is that what we're doing now I can't remember <laughs> what's the next step Follow the Sentinel Energy Trace. Where to? We probably have to go talk to uh, Nada or Polo. Or Nada and Polo. Leap in the dark. Portal ley line. <clears throat> Excuse me. Portal ley lines. Uh, we already know where the portal is in this system. That's where our base is. Let's see if we get a marker up here over there, if I hit C right here. Nope, it put it on the volcano planet. Well, that's fine, except that we're gonna have to power the portal at our base again later. <sighs> oh well. Either way, if we had done this in another star system, we would have had to done it, uh, powered our portal base again anyway. At least this way, we are starting in our portal base system, and our freighter is here, so we can just portal back to our freighter to find this place and power the portal back up again. We even have an activated copper planet here. If we run out of that basic material that comes back in spades from frigate missions, Approximate location. Now it's over here. I can't remember what we were looking for. Is it actually a portal or is it a monolith? And the storm is not making anything easy to see. Let's hit H. How close are we? 600 and closing. We're getting closer. There's something over here glowing blue. It's probably this. Let's talk at this. Yeah, 50, 48, 45. I think we're here. Uh, hey, wait, is that a gravity storm? No. Okay. I don't know that I need to be reading this. I just need to witness the glyphs here. There we go. And then it's off to a portal. I think we get sentinel activity from that. But that's that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I want to go out into space anyway. They're going to pop in and we're going to lose our aggression in any, any second after that. Anyway, no big deal. And there it goes. Okay. Next up in the mission is Portal Leyline 2, or uh, Glyph Set 2. Where's that at? Uh, scan. Is it here? No, it's up here. Back where we came from, of course. Uh, we're targeted on the Ancient Rune, not the Leyline Source. When we get closer, we'll have to switch over. So, these things. These things are fantastic. I uh, can't wait to get more of these. 
uh, when we get to the space station, if we get sent to the space station or a portal on the freighter, whatever, wherever, uh, I'll show you what I've been doing between episodes after I got my standing to Exalted. I think they're far enough apart now that I can target that one. There we go. Uh, I went and renamed a couple of star systems so that I can find them in my teleporter list. And it's quite easy just to go back and forth between a couple of star systems, walk up to the guild envoy and to collect your free reward of, uh, say, a cargo bulkhead. And then teleport back to the station you were just at, where the same kind of guild envoy is offering a cargo bulkhead. And then you go back and forth and back and forth, and every time you load into that space station, they will offer you, whoops, the free exalted reward. The same as with uh, upgrade merchants, upgrade modules. Uh, the nanite, the guys who sell them for nanites, they replenish their wares every time you reload or uh, go to the another star system and back again. We want a word again, or no? We want to witness glyphs. Yeah. I don't think we get attacked at this one, but if we do, that's fine. No, no aggression here. I'm glad it didn't send us to a portal on that volcanic planet yet, but we haven't got our third glyph set yet, so let's hit scan. See where it sends us for the third thing. The volcano's behind us. Voop. Yeah. <laughs> Straight back to that volcano, fine. Ooh, away we go. And unfortunately, we can't just install these wherever we're at. I wish this wouldn't highlight. It makes me want to use it. Um, yeah, we have to go to the space station to install pretty much all of these. These ones we do on our freighter, and these three we do on the space station. Or, if it's the exosuit module, wherever you can get an exosuit upgrade, you can use those. So if we find um, one of those crashed exosuit module upgrade things, yeah, we can get all of those installed right there. We just have to pay for the first one first. All right, here's our monolith. And I'm very hopeful since we're on this planet, when we do our next scan, it's going to send us back to the planet we're on and our base. That'd be nice. That way, the portal is already powered. We shouldn't have to answer any riddles here. We're just gonna activate witness glyphs and head on to the next step of the mission. Oh, we have an aggressive animal here. Who's that? Oh, it's a T-Rex. Look at you. Do I have uh I do. Stubby tail. Oh no, it's not stubby. It's pointy. Okay. You're not very tall, but I, I like your fins. That's cool. Cool T-Rex. Alright, away we go. He's an angry boy. He wants to eat us. Uh, scan. Forgot to do that. Target outside local system. Oh no, not re ah, well, I guess I guess we're powering up our portal again like I thought we were earlier. Oh well. Where we gotta go? Oh that's a ways away. Oh, it's 87 light years. We got a lot of local stars. Wow. We're in a star system. Surrounded by a lot of close by stars. Why is it so jittery? That's bizarre.
Oh, a freighter battle. Fantastic. Should we should we bother doing this? I hope that wasn't a good guy. No, we got a pirate transponder from that. Okay. All right, down to three remaining. Let's see if we can get this solved real quick, like. Oh, he's right behind him. That was clever, but I already got you down to, oh, 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 that was not clever. I don't know how close that space station is, but I do not want to find out. speak to the captain or we can just go aboard here a little bit loud gotta deal with these sometimes we could have skipped it by trying to land on the on the freighter bay and making the whole thing disappear but uh, why not get some free rewards even though they're a lot faster now that I have exalted status we don't need these free rewards it's just it's another way to do it we are going to get. I don't. I have a good freighter. I like it. A cargo bulkhead, by keen standing, increased by two, two hundred and thirty-five nanites, gold. Oh, where'd I park? All right. Continuing on with the mission, we got to go find the portal in this star system. What do we have here, by the way? Looks nice. Rainy planet, red grass, green sky, blue water. Don't know about uh, storms or anything. And our portal is on a moon. A mutated moon with activated copper. Meh. <sighs> well, at least it's not our portal. Fortunately, we're going to have to uh, power this thing up, though. So hopefully we got the stuff on us. I like to carry a bunch of stuff. Especially since I do not yet have a full freighter cargo bay on its main cargo bay. Am I not going to have to power this one because this is just part of the mission? That's fantastic. Forgot about that part. Incoming storm, incoming storm, whatever. Mm. Do we get our ship broken here? Do we go talk to the Atlas? Does it break our ship? I'm not walking to my ship. I, you know what? I only have one other ship to call in, though. The Starborn Runner. <laughs> so, we'll call in this one. And if it breaks our ship, we'll call in the ship that uh, isn't broken. That should have switched my ship, right? Calling that one in? Oh, God, <laughs> my ears. <laughs> believe since this is our first time through the portal for the story missions that we're gonna end up on a glitch decoration planet and then get pulled away like 16 seconds later or something like that. Oh yeah, planet of lights. Uh, I have one of these glitches on the freighter, so I don't need to go around collecting or looking for them in the short time we have here. Also, uh, if we go to discoveries, you can see that it still thinks I'm in that system I was just in. This is like not a real place. It's like a, I don't know how to explain it. Like a filter put over top of the system you were in. You can scan the one creature here, but you won't be able to upload it. Alarm, alarm.
I like that it's not an aggressive sentinel planet. Sometimes it sends you to those for these missions, and that's annoying. Oh, there he is. No, I'm not going to even bother. <laughs> So, Atlas words. I think we should collect some of them. We didn't do that during the expedition. Only those ones that are lit up have the potential. Uh, these other nubs could be lit up, but if they're not, they're not offering a chance. Doesn't look like there's too many here. I think the further you go through these story missions and Atlas mission, station missions, oh, there's one up there. It'd be funny if we could call our ship in and fly out of here. <laughs> All right, we got the word for endless as well. Cool. We can get a couple warp cells. Ooh, hello. A couple words over here I didn't see. Well, word chances. Nothing. Oh well. Atlas. I know who the Atlas is. I don't need to ask really, but I'm just going to click through. Diagnostic. I did not want to click on wipe system. Uh, personality interface. Sure. Uh, I hit Y. <laughs> I did press 1. <laughs> uh, uh, whatever. It's too late. Alright, moment of truth is our ship broke, because it wasn't broke. Before we called it in, it would not let us call it in if it was busted before. Ooh, hello. Oh, it's a frozen planet. Neat. Bubble grass on a frozen planet. Neat. So. Ha ha! Ah, that's what I thought. Uh, so summon vehicles, other starships, starborn runner. Back to our good ship. And we didn't break anything here, right? Thank you. Thank you. And multi-tool. No, he just breaks your launch thrusters. Because the Atlas is a jerk. We're here to rescue Artemis, apparently. I mean, that's why I'm doing the story missions. So, answer the communicator. I'm not alone. Locate the source of the mysterious distress signal. Uh, we can go talk to Nada about this. However, we don't have to. And I think I've got a good amount of nanites. And I don't need Quicksilver because my other saves have unlocked everything already. So, we're not going to. We're going to go back to A Leap in the Dark. Humid planet, that's nice. Yellow skies, not the greatest, but it will be night, so we're gonna have nice orange skies for this space background here. Oh, is this a dissonant planet? It's got a purplish hue. No, I'm not seeing any, uh, oh, is this a, uh, Oh, getting further. Getting closer. A hundred away, we can we can we can walk from here. There's 
grave right there. Rock planet Mammon. Have we been here before? Sounds familiar. Seven creatures? No. No, just discover today. Is it Iphice? Is it Iphice? I don't know if it's Iphice. Let's find out if it's Iphice. Will it suffice? Well, Artemis is dead. Surprise, surprise. Comfort Artemis. Now we get introduced to Null. Contact Apollo at the Hollow Terminus. I think we lose contact with Apollo at the Hollow Terminus and Null interrupts. Hello. Eyeball guys. Creepy, creepy eyeball guys. Seven creatures here, huh? That might be a cave creature. I'm going to scan that right here just right now because it's a cave entrance. Ah, both of these were underground creatures. I could get all of the creatures here if we spend a bit more time. Not too many. It's worth some nanites. Way more nanites than we would have got by talking to Nad, uh, Nada. And uh, hardly any more time now that I have those two underground creatures. Alright, where did the ship go though? It's up the hill. Whee! Okay. We need to scan. We could scan out of the ship. 18 minutes by foot. That's really close by. Just looking for more red dots. There should be some flyers, but I think it's a diurnal. Oh, I got, I got an alert. What, what's that alert? Looks like a YouTube symbol. Is it a comment? Is it a, a... Oh, I got an email too. Probably a new subscriber. Well, welcome aboard. I don't know who it is because I, you know, I'm using my phone for my timer. I can't. You know what? Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Rabbit toes. Hello. Welcome. Welcome aboard. Might be watching Planet Crafter. We're doing a lot of that this week. Approximate location. All right. We're still getting closer. Not quickly though. Oh, that's further. It's land. It's a hollow terminus. We should have been able to see that. We should. Have, I should have been looking at the distance. I should have been looking for that. <laughs> oh, ouch! Bad bounce. Oh well, we get some oxygen out of it. Hollow terminuses, not a problem. Boop. All the way to the top. You can even do that on a cold planet. All right. Break, data stream overridden. So this is just null right away because we can't find Apollo. Uh, I don't know. Neither do you. All right, well, let's just stare at each other then. Mind arc. Alright, let's give it a try. So how do I make these things and what do I need? Planetary... Speak with Artemis. Okay. How do I do that? Oh, no, really? Do I have to go right back up there? Yep. <laughs> hey, Artemis.
Ghost rings in the background. I almost don't even mind the vignette. Almost. <laughs> Cool. All right, we need cadmium. It's telling us to mine cadmium, but you know what we can do? Is get out of here. Let's go to the space station. I said we could stop off and look at those. That'll get us back to our freighter. We can make a mine arc there. And we get to see a new space station. They all look so cool and interesting now. Some of them are less interesting than others, but they all look a lot more interesting than they used to. No matter even, however dull they are now on the outside, it's still more interesting than it used to be. And some of them are really, really cool. Uh, speaking of what I said earlier, I went to go buy freighters, uh, frigates in the Louise system in Euclid. And yeah, look at this, this one's super cool. And that space station is amazing now. I really like it. All right, and something else I've noticed for entrances to tell which way is up and down. This one's very easy. The arch tells you. For triangles, I don't have a lock on it yet, but the rectangle ones, there are spires that stick out like this, but the one that sticks out furthest on a rectangle entrance is usually on the bottom right corner, as far as I've seen. So if you want to know which way is right, up right and down right <laughs> on a rectangle space station, that's the only thing I've noticed so far. So we are in, a tr I think I saw a coin on the system. Terminal over here. So it's a trade outpost. Might be a compass. No, that's a coin. A unit symbol. Let's see what they have on offer here somebody with exalted status. Storage dog, I'll take that, thank you. These are 50% off and you can just turn right around and sell them and get really good. Apprentice, that's all you need for warp hyper cores. Easy. So then from here, you would go to the terminus, you go to space stations, and you can see this is just the station name that it started with, and I've added exo, for that's an exosuit slot we can get. There's another one that offers exosuits, storage augmentations, multi-tool augmentations, and cargo bulkheads. So I need to go back and forth between these two a bunch. I don't really need more multi-tool slots. I have already upgraded this thing to S-Class and four rows because this and this were my third and fourth supercharged slot. It's not very common that they're in the fourth row and it's not ideal, but it did give me three right beside each other for this puppy right here. Pretty good DPS, I'm happy with that. All right, oh, ooh, you know what I'm not happy with is ignoring this. Nice, not my favorite engines, but I do like that nose. Yeah, let's just go straight to the freighter. We can make the mind arc there. And then we'll probably get sent to a hollow terminus in our portal system. Or a gravesite, even. Because we need to bring this back to Artemis's grave. Who knows? Who knows if we have to warp all the way back? We'll have to take the space station. That's fine. Uh, mind arc. I have the cadmium. I have the living pearl. I need three metal plating and a soul engine. Oh, okay. Perfect. There we go, we got a mind arc. Now what do we do with that? Let's see. Return to the hollow terminus. Do we have a symbol here in the star system? We sure do, off planet. <laughs> All right. I mean, to be fair, I guess we did bring Artemis's uh, soul or whatever to that hollow terminus. We transmitted from a hollow terminus to the grave we found and all the hollow termini are linked. So we are really just, oh, we're, we're going to the volcano. We'll go over time a little bit, it's okay. Uh, yeah, we're just talking to the grave 
via two hollow terminus. It's fine. It's fine. We might even be talking across different dimensions or galaxies or whatever. No, galaxies? They're called galaxies, but it might be different universes. <laughs> Euclid is a galaxy. Isentam is Dorayung, Dorayung, where we are. I keep on adding an L in there and I can't stop myself. Not an approximate location. I like to see that. We should have a landing site even. Thank you. Alright, so we found out that Artemis is passed on. We've talked to Null. We've made the mind arc, and we're going to upload a soul here. Use the mind arc. No need to comfort them. They don't really understand what's going on anyway. It's nice of you, though. Alright, now we need to talk to Null. Yeah, alright, we gotta go talk to our friends. Alright, cool. Now we actually do need to go up to the Space Anomaly and talk to Nada. Alright, but that's it for today, everybody. Until next time, have a good time. <laughs>